economic growth may be slowing, but we are seeing a pickup in manufacturing demand. One company benefiting from that pickup is KLA 10 Core. It makes chip equipment, and its earnings last night beat Wall Street estimates. Rick Wallace is president and CEO of the company and serves as chairman of the board for Semiconductor Equipment and Materials International. That's an industry trade association, and he joins us now from our San Francisco bureau. Mr. Wallace, welcome to Bloomberg News. Good to have you on. Thank you for having me, Mark. Sir, uh, the chip equipment industry usually plagued by at least we can say two cycles. It's either feast or famine. Which one are we in right now? Uh, things are looking great for semiconductor equipment, probably up about 100 percent in calendar year 10. And the semiconductor industry itself is seeing a record rebound from two years of decline. So uh, very strong demand. Where's that rebound coming from? It's, it's really across the board. It started in technology and, and now it's expanded to capacity. Uh, from our standpoint, it's about the consumer, but also we're seeing a lot of spending from corporate and particularly outside the U.S. We're seeing much stronger growth outside the U.S. than what we see inside. Specifically, where are you seeing that growth? Um, mainly in Asia. And again, a kind of both consumer really started off, but now we're seeing more IT investment as corporate uh, both in the U.S. and outside refreshes on some older technology. Is that something that surprises you given the global economic climate? It, it does a little bit, but on the other hand, it was so underinvested for so long. I mean, if you look at the aging IT infrastructure, it kind of makes sense that after all the trimming people did, that you'd want to add back productivity tools before you really add to headcount. So it fits with some of the unemployment data we're seeing as well. well speaking of trimming, is that something that you at KLA 10 Core were doing as well? We did. We, we cut pretty significantly to match demand. And uh, while we're adding back, we're also adding back in infrastructure as well. Uh, specifically, where in the infrastructure? Well, in the PCs, we replaced a number of those. We're trying to give more uh, capacity and productivity to our employees. Uh, but also, we've been ramping manufacturing really around the world to meet this, this expanding demand that we're seeing. So we have operations in Singapore, we have them in Belgium, and California, and Israel, and we're ramping in all those locations. Okay, so we know a strength in orders there, but what are you hearing from your customers that might give you a confidence that this strength in orders hasn't peaked yet? Well, we're hearing a lot of requests for demand, so there's not a day go, goes by that I'm not uh, talking to customers about meeting their demand as they're ramping their facilities. Just to give you an idea, there are 13 semiconductor fabs around the world under construction right now that people are planning for. You go back two years, that number was one or two. So very robust recovery. And is this something that we're seeing? Because I'm taking a look now at the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index, and uh, it's down slightly today, down about 4%, but it's pricing at 348. So am I getting a sense from you that this is something that's industry-wide? It, it is industry-wide for the semiconductor industry overall, and from an equipment standpoint, it's been very strong recovery. I, I think KLA 10 Core is uniquely positioned in that based on the products and services that we provide the industry. Okay, well, as the CEO of a company, you've got to also keep your finger on the pulse of and also keep a watchful eye on what's going on in the overall economy. A lot of people say that there's a disconnect between strong earnings by tech companies and some less than stellar economic indicators. Are they right about that disconnect? Well, I think there's two things. One is, you know, we focus a lot of the discussion about what's going on in the U.S., but the reality is what's driving us is much more about what's going on internationally, where the news is much more positive than what the U.S. economy is, is seeing. Uh, and the second one is, in the U.S., I do think there's IT spending that's, that's happening as corporate America reinvests, and I think that that will lead the jobs recovery. You have been telling at, at KLA 10 Core, you've been telling investors for a year that the inspection part of the chip making, which you serve, is at this point becoming more important and growing faster than the overall market. But you know, there have been some analysts who doubt that. What do you say? I, I think that uh, some of those analysts have been quieted based on our last quarter results. Uh, we demonstrated record bookings. We were at $956 million, well above street estimates. And when we look back on the fiscal year that just ended, we grew our core market about 205 percent against an industry that didn't grow nearly that much. So I, I think the, the latest data supports our thesis. Uh, in our last uh, 20 seconds, sir, uh, if we could take an overall look at the economy going forward, where do you see us between now and the end of the year? 
Yeah, you know, I think it's going to be choppy waters uh, in the overall economy. I think that technology continues to do well. I, I do think that there is some risk uh, as we go forward if there's another shock to the system. Um, but, but I do think for semiconductor equipment and semiconductor, there's a continued robust demand that will continue through 2011. The CEO of KLA 10 Core, Rick Wallace, joining us from our bureau in San Francisco. Mr. Wallace, thanks so much for your perspective. We appreciate it.